Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you these wonderful old Philips Earthlight 15 watt CFL bulbs. Now believe it or not, both these packages have the exact same thing in them. Uh, but we'll take a look at both packages because they're both interesting. Because this one is talking about a dimmable one, which unfortunately is no longer in there. Now this is what we do have. So of course Philips Earthlight, I've always loved the design of these with the three U-shaped tubes in a row. 900 lumens, so they at least reach the standard, I believe, 800 lumens of a 60 watt incandescent. They're actually a little above it. Got some information here on the side and the back, and examples of where you can use the bulb. Of course, really anywhere, this is the universal option. The top is missing, but that's okay because here's our bulb. Wonderful, brand new, Philips Universal. Now these could have different shades and globes uh, pop onto them. I have a floodlight version of one of these somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's a video on the channel somewhere too. Um, uh, this was one of the first ones I ever got a long time ago, at probably the Home Depot or something. Um, but it's a Got a lot of memories with it for me because I this was one of the first CFLs, among others, that I had in the collection. Very cool design. And obviously this box is the uh, same type of design, but for dimmable, a dimmable option. Obviously a brighter option as well because it's 23 watts. So we're looking at probably like a... Uh, I don't know, 7,500 watt equivalent. But in here, we have the same exact thing, except it is used. As you can tell, the phosphor is a little degraded. So we have two different date codes as well. Let me bring it up so we can take a look. This one's a little yellowed naturally from use. Uh, these are very compact bulbs. See, so as you can see, it's very close to the shape, or not the shape, but uh, the size of a standard 60 watt incandescent for sure. And its diameter as well. So it could definitely fit in a variety of fixtures. I wonder if they could get more tube uh, for space doing it like this versus a spiral. Okay, so we'll grab our socket here. Let's go ahead and do the used one first. There we go. Yep, definitely has some hours on it. As you can see, not, not as bad as I thought it would be. It looks like it's aging quite well. Looks like it needs a second to warm up, but it's definitely getting there quickly. You can see some, uh, Mercury showing through there and a little bit right there in, in the color of blue Very neat and cool design now Philips for a while. I don't know if they do anymore I uh, made PL bulbs in this exact style uh, Mostly the higher wattage ones. I never picked one up, but I saw them in the store for quite a while Very cool. Well, we're definitely at full brightness now. Um, hold it above the camera here. I mean, you can't really get much because you got the window here. It's closed the best it can be. So let's turn that one off. Let's fire up this brand new one. There we go. I might have a little use on it. It's a little, a little dark right there, but that could also just be how it is. This one's nice and bright to start with, even on its first turn on. I just love that triple tube design. Phillips did some really cool stuff. As you can kind of tell, the middle tube needs a little bit of time to warm up, but... These are pretty good at doing it really quick. And uh, 
these things last for like ever. Um, my parents had two of these in their, uh, they were like stand up torchier lamps and they were three way versions and they just kept working. I don't know if one actually eventually died or if they just replaced it with something else. Definitely got a little bit of heat coming off of it, but the center one still looks a little dim on camera, but when I'm looking at it in person, it looks equally as bright. Hold it above the camera too, why not? That's really about it. I love these little old, well, now they're old, Philips Universal bulbs. The design of them is just uh, so unique. Well, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little video of these Sylvania, or what did I say, Sylvania? How many, have I been saying Sylvania the whole time? Boy, you know, I just need to read the package. It says Philips. Anyway, these wonderful Philips, Earthlight, 15 watt, 60 watt equivalent CFL bulbs. Also, please come, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.